Okay, here's another recording. It's the same problem number two uh, in the assignment 1.2.4. And I want to show you something that Jess was asking me about. Um, actually, she figured out uh, how her calculator can make this a lot easier. And I can even take it a step further uh, in making this a lot easier. Uh, I wasn't sure if you guys were ready for this particular uh, this particular little calculator tip, but I, I, I think since you're asking or maybe thinking about it, uh, when you have this 5600 and this 680 and this 8200, they're all in the denominator. There, if you have a scientific calculator that does fractions for you, well, what Jess said is you don't even have to do the decimals. But I'll, I'm going to take that one step further and say that you you actually have an even easier tool to use. If I can make this with less glare that's still glare okay that's that's not bad that's that's not bad eh, stop it okay uh i'll do this quickly nothing's happening i have to do this quickly okay um what we have here let me uh dim that out a little bit okay what we have is uh 5600 680 and 8200 so in the calculator if you have this function uh, this five, six, zero, zero. And then there's a key called the one over X key. One over X key is right there. One over X that gives you the inverse of that value plus six, eight, zero, one over X that gives you the inverse of that value plus eight, two, zero, zero, one over X that gives you the inverse of that value. And then you, you have, you have added those all together to get that value. And guess what? One over X of the answer is the answer that we got before. Um, which was, which was uh, 564.7. And according to the calculator, it's 562, 564.6. And guess what? That's close enough.